everyone describes life, pain, love according to what they are going through. She is called Lucy. She says that she is going through the worst she has ever seen. She gave birth to this child and this is her daughter who was born disabled with her feet looking backwards. Her entire body is also disabled. This is not all. When she was pregnant, the doctors told her that she was going to give birth to a baby with one leg. This was not actually what happened. And the moment she gave birth to a child like this, her entire family forced her to kill her own child. But she went against them and fought for her baby. Her child is a girl. She is 13 years old. For all these years, Lucy has been struggling to take care of her disabled child, which has not been easy at all, because all that her daughter ever does is sit here all day since she is disabled and waits for her mother to come and carry her away. Lucy says that this all started years ago. She was a girl and she was completely a normal one. No one in her family had ever been like this or even suffered from this kind of disorder. She was old enough to get married. And that's when she found the man of her dreams. She later fell in love and got married. She moved to her husband's house which they are still living in until today. They became a family and decided to expand it and have babies, just like all couples should. Lucy got pregnant, and by then they had some money and cattle, which means that they could afford paying for regular hospital checkups when she was a pregnant woman. And this is exactly what she did, and she had to go for them. She did these checkups, and they all turned out positive each and every day. Everything was okay and no more until the last time that she underwent one. The doctors said that the baby was in a mysterious position, but according to what they saw, they told Lucy that she was unfortunately going to give birth to a baby with one leg. They could do totally nothing about it, so she had to just wait until time for giving birth came. She felt bad about this. She headed home to tell her husband what was happening to their baby. The moment her husband heard this, he was also shocked. He told Lucy to stand strong and everything was going to be alright. Lucy at least didn't feel like she was in this alone. Before they knew it, it was already time for giving birth. She was rushed to the hospital, and since the baby was in a strange position, she couldn't push such a baby, so they had to carry out an operation. Surgery was successful. She gave birth to this baby. The doctors too were shocked to see that the baby had both legs, but still, it was terribly disabled. They couldn't change anything about this, however, they advised this couple to seek for medical attention from a better hospital. Lucy and her husband were thinking about a lot of things when their eyes landed on this baby. It was very hard for them, but they accepted how their child turned out. They carried their baby and took it home. A lot of people heard that they had given birth to a baby. They all came to their home to celebrate with them, but they totally had no idea how the baby had turned out to be. Lucy and her husband had no other option 
but to bring out the baby and show it to the people. Unfortunately, no one in their family was happy to see this child. They all said that from the very first day that their families existed, no one has ever given birth to such a creature. So they should take it back from wherever they got it from. Lucy and her husband did not know that their families would hate their baby this much. They were also told to kill this baby and start over with having normal and beautiful children that were going to make them proud because all that this creature was going to ever bring to them was disgrace. Lucy said no. They were not ready to kill their own child because they believed that there was a reason that God had given them such a child. The moment their families heard this, they walked away with a lot of anger within them. They took the baby to the hospital just like they were told to. The doctors said that there was something that could be done to improve on their baby's condition. But this was going to be very expensive and they had to give it a try. She says that they sold all they had and they became poor. They did all this just to take their child for treatment. They took him to the hospital that they were recommended and this was a very long journey. The doctors tried all they could to stretch the baby's legs and according to Lucy, they had to buy for her shoes of the disabled which she always wore and this put her legs in the right position and things were getting a lot better. By then, their daughter's condition was promising because they had already started seeing positive changes on their daughter that were made by the doctors. And this was something to be very happy about, but it did not last for very long. The shoes that helped out her legs were very expensive. They were always supposed to be changed as she kept growing and they did this until the money they had was done. They carried their baby back home since they could no longer afford treatment anymore. Obviously, her condition became worse again since she was not getting treatment at all. Her mother says that though she is disabled, she can still talk and she is very smart to the extent that she wishes to study and she always asks her mother why she does not go to school just like other children. Lucy digs for different people and she tries everything in her power to feed and take care of her family. But now everything is turning out to be so hard and this is why she is asking for help to buy for her daughter a wheelchair that they believe that will make her life better. She also needs to get advanced treatment, which they are sure that it will be of great help. These funds will be donated via GoFundMe, a link that is in the description of this video and pinned in the topmost comment by Afrimax English. Thank you for watching. My name is Prince. Do not forget to subscribe.